So we are here at the St. Louis Art Museum at the exhibition New to the Museum, showing a wonderful range of works from prints, drawings, photographs, collages, even contemporary digital work to give a great sense of the creative range of expression across 500 years of time. So the museum is always acquiring new works. We've actually acquired about 2,400 works since 2016. So all the works on view uh, are from that period of time. I'm one of the three co-curators of this exhibition, along with Elizabeth Wyckoff and Claire Cabeza. We all bring our own areas of expertise and perspective to this material to present this work in a very lively and engaging way. This exhibition uh, both helps to build on existing strengths uh, within the collection. Uh, for example, just behind me, uh, the Max Beckman drawing builds on our stellar and internationally known collection of Beckman paintings and prints. Other works on view intentionally build upon the representation of black, indigenous, and women artists in the collection. So one of the pieces is by um, the indigenous artist Mauriceau, a very um, bold, graphic, colorful screen print. Next to that on the wall is a work by Emma Amos, a black artist who did these very uh, large sort of experimental works in printmaking that um, communicate um, both sort of a bodily sense of the figures in her work, but also juxtaposing those figures with graphic patterns in the background. We also have contemporary works by indigenous artists. The artist Scavonetti who works on a digital platform. She's thinking about science fiction imagery and projecting creation stories from her Iroquois culture sort of into the future, which is a wonderful thing to have on view. And in addition, we have a number of works in the show that uh, engage with local history, with the people, places, histories of the St. Louis region, such as two wonderful woodcuts by the beloved Washington University faculty member, uh, Leslie Lasky. They are images of the Comet roller coaster in the Highlands Amusement Park, where Forest Park Community College um, is now. And a lot of people in St. Louis will remember and be able to relate to. This exhibition runs through July 9th. For more information, you can visit slam.org. Also on the website for this show, there's a number of audio guide recordings that you can listen to for more information about certain pieces. So we really hope that you come and enjoy the show.